Actually, there we go. 21 courses on there. That's basically one course to Lintel now. I mean, if you're on site, that'd be on now, but I can't be asked stretching it like that. Here we go. 21 courses on there. Not used to stretching up there, doing brickwork, we're just doing lintels. And Alex is just getting the mix out. We've just I've just cut the um, vertical damping, Alex is putting that in now. I've um, drilled all the screw tie holes. So yeah, we're just gonna set this last board up here, further down there. And we're gonna run the next two sides in now because we've got a short run there on that side, door. And then this stretch here, and then um, that's that's our first window height. No, window first window height's here, two course lower than that, so it's a 12 under window.
Here we go, 20 past three. So that's the third mix used up now. We've just had a top up, we've got um, about 460 in. So because they've got small holes in these bricks, we're getting like 150 to a mix, which is brilliant. So most going a lot further than we thought. So yeah, it's looking good. That's on to, that's up 21. We're approaching window height now. Robbie and Robbie have been and then um, they've cut all the wall plates and notched them all. So they've done all the lap joints for us. And done us dummy window frames. So that's our first one going on because that's 1200 deep. This one is going in. Up, 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 up. About there, like that. To match that one. Obviously front door. Keep him framed. <laughs> and then lounge is going in here somewhere. And then the final window is this one. Which is going in the utility room, which is at this end. Round about here. Not sure where exactly. I think it's about a metre in because it's dark. But there's nowhere near our corner anyway. So that, that's the first one to go in because that's 1200 deep. And then the other two, that'll be next two courses up and then that one's quite high up as you can see. It doesn't go in that way, it goes in the other way. So yeah, um, what we're going to do now is, we've, we'll give the floor an extra day to go off. We're going to get an 8 before sheet down that end and whatever we can down this, this side. And we're going to spend the next hour. hour blasting blocks out. Not so, sure, Robbie. So yeah, um, I might just see what the uh, cuts work out at and if while well, actually blasting the blocks I can get a few cuts done like the the, the internal corner blocks and then these these will be cuts all the way up full block and a cut half and then a small piece so we need to work all this out and it's, it's with that with that evolution saw it's just as easy to cut them with the saw take them up that corner and blast them through like them there's a whole course there I... yeah so that's a whole course there to, to go in but they'll go on top of the stacks that we put out so yeah, made up with today. Want a full day brick lane. Oh yeah, just for anyone who's there you go. Can you see any tie wires? Can you spot the tie wires?
Indie House by Jennifer Egan. One of my favorite writers. She won a Pulitzer Prize for a book called And yeah, and I could talk about books for hours. No, no, I was going to get recommendations of books as well as music today. That's fantastic. Well, look, we've got one more question, for you, which comes from yesterday's uh, guest in the room, Sophie Ellis Baxter. And uh, Sophie, I believe, is releasing her new album the same day as yours, so no, no arguments. Uh, yeah. so,
Sinatra. Labour says the missions will shape the party's election manifesto and guide them if it forms the next government. Stand aside. So the says the country yes, needs yes, yes, legal yes, serious yes, plan to yes, yes. stability after years with the Conservatives yes, in power. Yes, yes. The Prime Minister Rishi yes, Sunak yes, set out his own five measures last month, which also included growing the economy, cutting inflation and NHS waiting lists, just before we set off. So today we're asking what your key pitch would be. Some of them might a bit of a Justin, but for the most part, they're ready. Right, but you, you want to add X or Y to the key on the Sunak you said. Do email vine at bbc.co.uk. Please include your phone number so we can get back to you and get you on there. You can text us 8829 or you can send a message to the long number. 08,288 to 91. Let's talk all my more to use that now. Yeah. So, there's another of the five pledges today, Nick. Right, yeah. Um, I mean, the big one is the economy, isn't it? Actually, putting some meat on the bones of that and saying, if they win power, they will make the UK the fastest growing economy in the G7. That, that's quite a big deal, actually. That's, that's quite a big challenge that Keir Starmer is setting himself. The other ones were on just very climate change, the NHS, making the streets safe and breaking down barriers to opportunity. Think about childcare and education, reforming both of them. But look, I mean, it's, it's so interesting. I think I'm enjoying the case. 18 now. months out from an election, yeah. Keir Starmer yeah. standing here and saying, these are the no things I would do if I was in the I don't think heard him. Can I him so confident about the background? He's he's talking about what he's yeah. the second term. Of the Labour government, of course, none of this is 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 inevitable, and the Conservatives are saying that he doesn't keep his promises, and that actually he he, he creates new challenges for himself all the time. What a day! What a beautiful day! Sorry to poke you at the sun, but look at that. You can see all the planes in the distance. Look at that sky. This is a Brick Lane day. We're running long brick now, but I think we've loaded enough to finish. We've got three courses to go on here. One, two, three, to level it up for 21 courses. So um, we're going to have a quick dinner now. Uh, yeah. Obviously things slow down a bit when you've got to set your wind frames out, get your bond, and uh, quite made up with this because we've got we've just got a two buckets of weird clamps that we've been sent. We've never bought any clamps. We could really do for some F, F clamps, which we've never had because we don't use the box section. We've never used F clamps. So we used a T clamp up there to keep that and then got one of those sliding adjustable clamps there. Same there on that one. And then that one's just got um, <coughs> it's like a spring clamp. Some cheap one from Wilkinson's. But it's it's holding nice and steady. <coughs> I've I've walked into that one twice but not too bad. There's a crap as we go along so we can skip it. Another thing we have to do, this needs levelling through and digging down. We left it high, it's just easy reaching the brickwork. See that's like chest height now. So yeah, that's how it's looking. I think we've got too many bricks, but that's fine. It's better to have too many and not enough. Alex is round in the shade, making a nice job of that. So yeah, it's coming on. We um, hopefully get on the block work this afternoon. Because we're not, we've got to shoot off a bit early because we've got to go and pick the lintels up. So we need one, two, three, four, five lintels. Uh, Alex is ready for the his window next course because it lines through with this one. So yeah, got to pick lintels up and we've run out of tie wires because um, we've actually put tie wires in here. So that's why I've run out. I'll just get you there. Can you, can you see them? For those of people who think we don't put tie wires in, can you see them? Every three on the jams. There you go. So that's it. We're going to go and get some dinner. And then we'll be mixing after dinner. Once that's used up, we'll get going. There's me just bang my head again. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. There we go. Looking good. Capitalised on the good day. So we've got 21 all the way around now. Leveled up. All the windows in, set out, propped. Absolutely made up what the customers made up to. So yeah, heading inside. Alex is just going to give me a few cuts because it's all cuts. So it's a repetitive cut. So we'll just get him on the on the saw. I think it's a three thirty and a two 
well that's a half a block there and then because of the messed up uh, tie wires put those in it down course level see the lower lower down ones they don't actually bridge across to do anything structural they're just there to hold the insulation in so that's dropping down to DPC then I'll have to do another cut because I've got the tie wires in if we, if we hadn't got this cut this these in here it would have been uh, nine courses to our first tie wires from the trench block down there so we put these in it's like an extra set and then we're back to normal here one two three four five six one two three four five six tie wire height so yeah it's just it's just a matter of splitting that down which is an absolute doddle with this thing that was 20 odd quid that but it's got its money worth well spent i should have kept a bit of oil on it really it's gone rusty but it's, it's brilliant and this stuff this this canal stuff is tough stuff to cut we used to use our trowel for the fiberglass stuff but this stuff is not is not happening with the trowel but this this just glides to it so easy so it's, just spend that bit of extra money to make your work your life easier so much easier you can trim little pieces and all kinds with this so yeah Alex's going to get me the cut stone i'm going to get the installation sorted out i'm going to throw this corner up as high as i can get it until that runs out then tomorrow it's back here blast all the block work up to seven and the course in, so it'll be six course and brick and a bigger block set so we'll be up we'll be up here with the block sorry we'll be up here with the block and then we're just going to do our normal thing and then um, trestles and planks from on the inside as you can see we've got a nice level platform to work off and we haven't there so what's the point of struggling out there we can just do seven courses off the trestles like i say it's only seven up to lintel height so um yeah that's the plan tomorrow get the block work up get the trestles and planks set up for the first wherever we should probably be that end i reckon um well maybe that end actually because of the access got a better access there but yeah that's but I'm, I'm waffling again we'll, we'll decide tomorrow so yeah alex is going to jump on the saw get these cuts done for me i'm going to get some water used up today i think it's about half past three probably a bit later 20 to 4 so got the jointing to do as well so yeah catch you in a bit i'll stick you on part time that's why we get this little corner bit done this battery's good it's been time lapsing for ages it's still on 63 percent there's today just make out the corner from yesterday 
and all the windows set out one piece one three quarter in it quick one if it, anybody I always put full brick and a half on the end put the never put the three quarter against the frame and then it's not as obvious then it blends in better so you look at the you look at the frame you've got a brick and a half and then your pieces set back so it's not I've just I've just said that twice <laughs> So yeah, getting the points across. Yeah, it's still a quick damp this, so that's going to be sponged off absolutely the last thing before we go. And then I've just whipped this corner up. Ooh. Just before you continue, do you want to show our? Oh, ta I've gone over. I've shown the towers a couple of times. We've actually run out of towers. I had to go to screw fix for more. As you see, there's the ones we had, and then we've got onto these now. Like bloody 12, 12 quid for bloody fifty. Expensive. So we need a big bundle tomorrow from Fairwoods when we go for cement. So we're going, leaving the house early, getting to Fairwoods for opening at half seven, half a dozen bags of cement, bundle of tie wires and shell for a fry up Friday and then up here, probably for about quarter past half past eight. But yeah, just got to tidy this edge up because we just took the profile down. That'll all be nice in a minute. So there's the, uh, there's, there's the pieces at the bottom and then the off cuts from them made out of coursing bricks so that's basically one course to lintel now I mean if you're on site that would be on now but I can't be asked stretching it like that that's high enough so tomorrow Alex can jump straight on that and I'll do a load of cuts give him a break from the dish cutter and then once I've done the cuts I'll drop in that corner Was that corner up and then we can get it all running we can run that into a line, we'll just put it back up the wall and just run that in off that corner. So yeah, we've had a really good day today, really made up with that. It's always nice to get the block work up. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. 